My professional background is very much as a communications expert. I have worked for a very long time in trying to convey the most amount of information in the least amount of time. So that originally meant I focused a lot on policy briefs, but have now gone on to a lot more things like data visualizations and other digital tools for communicating research. The On Think Tanks Data Visualization Competition is something that we do on a relatively annual basis where we ask think tanks from around the globe to submit some of their best work, things that they really find exciting, for a bit of a competition. It's a great way to get a lot of new resources and to see just kind of the different practices that are happening in think tanks around the world. One of the things that we also do with the competition is it's partly about inspiring things, but it's also about providing the resources and tools to be able to create your own visualizations. So we actually have a huge resource library that includes how-to videos and manuals, lists of different tools that you can actually use to create your own data visualizations. One of the things that I've really found surprising about working with the visualization competition is actually where the visualizations come from. Um, I think that in the, in the West or in the developed countries, we think that we have some sort of expertise in this area that maybe doesn't exist around the world. And I think that what our competition shows is that's just not the case. One of my absolute favorite visualizations actually came from Georgia. Not Georgia in the US, Georgia the country. Um, so you never know where it's gonna come from. Over the next few years, I think that think tanks will face a number of challenges, but I think think tanks will be able to overcome those challenges with effective communication and maybe thinking about how do they change their audience. Maybe it needs to no longer be uh, the political elites in the UK, that would be in Whitehall and Westminster. Maybe it's about actually talking with a, a wider audience. So one of the challenges that we have when researching or trying to understand think tanks is just frankly knowing where they are, if they even exist. So we have a number of questions that up till now have been really difficult to answer. But what this directory does is bring together think tanks from all around the world into one single place so you can answer questions like that. We can answer a whole range of questions. One of the questions you might have is, what is the oldest think tank in the world? It depends on what you define a th think tank as, but according to our directory, it's the Royal Society of Arts here in London.